Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I am going to demonstrate how to create, stop, start and delete VM instant in GCP using GCP console. I have logged into my GCP account. So I am with the project demo. So now we are going to create a compute engine. So click compute engine. Since this is a new project, first we need to enable the compute engine API. Click enable click create instance so first we need to provide a instance name so i am going to create a linux vm so i am going to give the name as linux vm and then we need to select the region where we want this instance to be hosted so i am going to give us east one and you can select the desired zone as well right and then we need to select the machine configuration so we have four options one is general purpose this is primarily used for the common workloads Primarily, it is optimized for the cost and flexibility. And then next, we have the compute optimized. This is for the performance intensive workloads, right? And the memory optimized. This is primarily for the memory intensive workloads like the in-memory databases and the GPUs, which is for the uh, generally for the machine learning on the data processing. For the demo purpose, we will select the general purpose and we will leave it with the E2 series. Again, here you have many series even under the each category. So we'll leave the E2 and then we'll the select the machine type. So I'm going to select as E2 micro because this is just for the demo. So I wanted to provision a low cost machine. So here it is going to cost me $7.11 and it is based on the usage. So it is going to, we are going to get the per second billing. So if you wanted to do, so you can do the advanced configuration as well, right? And then if you wanted to configure this computing as a confidential VM service, that also you should be able to enable and do it. And if you want to deploy a container, you can click this deploy container, provide your container image name and what is the restart policies and how whether you wanted to run as privilege and what is the command you want to get executed, what is the argument need to be passed, environment variables, if you want to add a volume mount, all these things you'll be able to do it. I'm not going to deploy any container now, so I'm going to click cancel. And then this is the boot disk. So you can, uh, this is by default, this is the configuration. We'll go with the default, but if you wanted to change, you can click change and you can change the operating system, version, boot disk type. So everything you'll be able to change it. And we need to provide a service account. So we will use the compute engine default service account itself. Otherwise you can create a service account and you can assign the service account here. So this service account will be used to um, invoke those APIs right and the access scopes so we are going to leave it as the default access so default access it is going to give read access to the storage and the service management and it will be giving right access to the logging and monitoring and other in case if you wanted to go give full access you can select this or if you wanted to give only specific API access you can select this and specify the and select the different APIs and give access by for this demo purpose, we'll go with the allow default access. And in this demo, I am going to install Apache 2 server. So I'm going to access it at the port 80. So I'm going to select allow HTTP traffic and the advanced options. So networking, so you'll be able to select the network interface, but I'm going to use the default for now. So disk, if you wanted to add any new disk, attach existing disk, you should be able to do it. And security, if you wanted to use this as shielded VM, or if you wanted to use the Man, add the manually generated SSH keys, you will be able to use it. So in the management options, so now I'm going to add my startup script. So using this script, I'm going to deploy the Apache when after the instance is provisioned. install Apache 2 so we need to start Apache 2 just by checking the status Okay, so the on host maintenance is a recommended migrate VM instance for the instance what I've selected the other option was not it's not going to work. So we change it to migrate VM instance. Now click create. 
so the vm instance has been successfully created so you can see here the the internal ip and you can see here the external ip as well since we have installed the apache 2 so we will be able to directly launch and check let's click this so we can see the apache 2 has been successfully installed after the instance has been provisioned okay so let's see the more details about the vm instance by clicking the instance right so here you have an option to see the log which will take you to the log explorer and shows the the log so here you will be able to see the the log here also we will be able to see the log as a serial port console log so you can use this log to see whether your script has been successfully executed and all those things you will be able to see using this you can see here right the startup script has been executed and the apache 2 has been started we can see more information here like the instance id status when it was created right what is the zone right all these what is the machine type and all these informations you'll be able to see here you can see what is the http traffic whether it is on off and what is the network subnet work being used and what is the image being used so all these informations you'll be able to see here So now we have successfully created a machine and here we can we have an option we'll be able to create a image of this machine by clicking the create machine image or if you wanted to create a similar instance you'll be able to click this option and create a similar instance so now the instance is up and running so let's see how we can stop this instance go and click this stop so this is going to stop the vm instance so the instance has been successfully stopped so now let us start the instance so the instance has been successfully started now let us see how we will be able to search to this instance we have multiple options so you wanted to open in the browser window will be able to open or if you wanted to use any custom port you can do it and if you wanted to provide any private SSH key that you can do or if, or if you wanted to use the G cloud so you can just view the G cloud command and this is the command you can just copy this command and go to your uh, the cloud shell or go to install the G cloud in your system and then using this command you will be able to log in okay so first we will log in using the browser So it is transferring the SSH keys. So now we have successfully logged into this Linux VM which we provisioned from the GCP console. Okay, so let me log out of this. So now let's open the cloud shell. The cloud shell is getting activated. Okay, so now the cloud shell has been activated the command what we copy pasted let's use it click authorize so now we have successfully logged into the vm using the g cloud okay now let us see the permissions this instance has this service account has the compute engine service agent permission and these two accounts have the editor permission and this is the owner for this this principle is the owner for this vm okay so now we have seen how to create stop start and log into the vm now let us go and delete this virtual machine so the instance has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create stop start and delete virtual machine in gcp using the gcp console if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo